This is quite a place you have here. Yeah, Ali Ojali lives and works in the official Libyan ambassador's residence, a symbol of the country's oil wealth with its gold finishes, crystal chandeliers, and marble floors. This is a historic moment yes, in relations between the United Libya, States and yes, Libya. Yes, yes. But after 40 years as a diplomat, he's no longer ambassador. He quit more than a month ago and is now nothing more than a private citizen. I feel great. Maybe first time in 42 years, they've been able to come together and say to Gaddafi, you must go. Ojali claims he and Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi were never close and says the decision to resign in late February was easy once the dictator turned on his own people. Is your life in danger? There is some threat, but uh, maybe I'm not taking it very serious. He has no bodyguards and little staff. His old embassy inside the historic Watergate Hotel shut down by the State Department. Ojali now calls himself an ambassador for the Libyan people. Our goal is a freedom. Hosting rallies, public speaking events. I never expect that I will find myself in this kind of situation. In urging U.S. officials to do more. He maintains regular contact with the Libyan opposition and strongly denies any al-Qaeda presence among the rebels. There is no al-Qaeda in Libya. These people they are normal Libyan people. Can the rebel forces win? By themselves without support, they cannot. They cannot. Ojali now flies a pre-Qaddafi Libyan flag outside his home. And there's an empty wall where the portrait of his old boss was once displayed. We have to get rid of Gaddafi as soon as possible. Time is not on our side. Time inside of Gaddafi. Until then, much like his people, the former ambassador's future remains uncertain. Whit Johnson, CBS so News, Washington. Here,